for 360 on a hoe. Yeah. Welcome or welcome back to the channel, which is Hair Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be giving y'all all the tea, all the good content, all the hairstyles. So make sure you stay tuned so you don't miss any uploads from me. And make sure that you follow me on social media as well. Because I post there a lot more frequently than I do here on YouTube. So excuse the pimple patches. Excuse the crazy puff ball that's on top of my head. We are about to get into these lemonade braids. So... Let's get started. If you are ever curious about the products I use and the tools I use, you can check my Amazon storefront. My Linktree account is linked in my description box. And if you scroll down to Amazon storefront, you can find my protective styles list. You can get all the tools, all the products at all times. Okay. So when it comes to these lemonade braids, the most important thing is parting. As you can tell, I have a full body mirror sitting behind me. Okay. That's going to be so important when it comes to checking the back of my head. All right, and it should help you as well because I know parting is super difficult for people. Also, I'm sitting in front of like three other mirrors. I have one that's handheld so I can, you know, position myself directly into the mirror so I can see what's going on in the back of that kitchen, okay? Another thing that's super important that helps with parting is putting gel jam, whatever you want to call it, on my scalp and on my part so it can be super crisp like this. So when it comes to parting, lemonade braids you just got to go with the flow and you got to go with something that looks cute on your head shape once you get your parting down it's it's time to comb row well. and it's super simple just take a really small piece in the front of the braid lock it down three times when i mean when i say lock it down i mean braid down three times so you know your braid isn't going to unravel it's super tight and it can start off super skinny so it gradually gets bigger and it's just gonna be so cute in the end okay like I'm so geeked because this is my first time doing these braids and they came out really, really nicely, okay? Um, there's not much to it when it comes to doing these tutorials, so um, I'm going to try to pop in here and there with some tips and tricks, but for the most part, I'm just regularly comb rolling, and when I get to the end of my braid, I'm going to add three pieces of extensions, okay? You can find this here on my Amazon storefront as well. Um, I'm doing small pieces because I'm starting out with small braids. And when it comes to thickness and length, this is what I make sure I do. I start off with three pieces. I make sure I gel them down. You need three pieces because you started out with braiding three pieces of your normal hair, right? And then depending on the length and the thickness of your actual, like your real hair, will determine how many pieces of hair you need to add throughout. Me personally, you know, I like my braids down to my thong, yeah. So I make sure to add multiple pieces of hair throughout so I can get the desired length. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and vibe out to some music and I'm going to jump back in when need be. Come to the top of the car. Don't know by the lock. You don't know what I decide. Can't be without it. I can't be without it. for the wall. Chase out the positive. Money just stick with the boy. A lot of model bitches check for me. Nigga don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a stick like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when you low had to spot and trust with you. So many hoes had to get up. I said to me, she left her body home and brought her neck to me. I did a walk through that shit to jet to me. Y'all niggas show price less than my trophy. One of my arms were so once you get your first braid down, you really can just use that as a guide to, you know, get the desired shape and design of your other braid. So this is the design that I got going on right here right now. Okay, I'm excited because it's coming out cute. Um, and then I wanted to, you know, switch it up when I got to the front of my head. So I kind of started making my braids go straight across to give a little bit of oomph, dimension. As you can see right here, they're laying so flat, so nice, so neatly. Um, and definitely, I want to remind you guys to leave out your baby hairs and your um, sideburns because it's going gonna, it's gonna to change the shape of the braid, I promise you. And I can show you in just a second what I mean. So you see right here how I'm pulling out my baby hairs. I realized that 
I wanted my braids to curve right here because I wanted to give it a little umph. Um, and I also wanted to start creating the shape, the little, you know, the little swoop that you need for the braids that go in the front of your face. So one thing that helped me when doing this style is I put a curved braid along my edges. If you like to have a lot of baby hairs and, you know, dramatic sideburns out like I do, you can use the placement of your baby hairs to guide you as to where you should put a curved braid. That curved braid is going to shape the rest of the braids and it's going to ensure that the braids in your face lay in a very particular way that's nice and face framing, if that makes sense. So as you can see right here, I have a lot of baby hairs out and that's where I'm going to put my curved braid. The braids that are going to follow that braid are going to be curved as well, but they're going to get deeper into the curve. Like, it's kind of going to be more of a C shape, if that makes sense. And that's where I'm going to leave the braids for the front of my face. I hope and pray that that makes sense. If it doesn't, it's okay because you can be a visual learner and just watch what I'm doing. But I kind of just wanted to give a little brief description because I know a lot of people ask me questions in my comments about parting in particular. So now that I'm at the front of my face, I'm going to change direction of my braids. You see how these braids are going to be curved and they're going to lay upon my face so cute and nicely. Yeah, your parting really matters when it comes to eliminate braids. I'm doing the same exact technique. I'm just braiding in a different direction. And honestly, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm double join it I don't know if it's because I'm real flexible in the arms or whatnot but do y'all see the way my arms and my elbows are positioned like it's very uncomfortable but once you get a groove you're gonna stick into it so just to let y'all know I only did three braids positioned with my arms like this because it, it started to hurt I was cramping up baby I felt like I had arthritis in my elbow I ain't had time for that so you're gonna see in a second um I started doing the braids on the other side of this section of hair. And this side was way more comfortable to do my hair. I thought that this style was going to be unachievable because I knew I was going to have to position my hands in some crazy ways. But honestly speaking, it was worth the try. So I definitely say, you know, give it a go. If you know how to cone roll, you know how to give yourself lemonade breaks. I promise you. And the more you practice, the better it will turn out. Okay. So yeah, those are my words of encouragement. And please tag me in this style if you try it on your social media. Okay. Okay, y'all, so Jatera in live action here, just finished with the last couple of braids, and now we have to perfect this style because it need a little bit of putting together. So you see this little, this little, what is this called? This little space that's right here? That's not cute. And I didn't braid it all the way down because this is just my baby hairs, baby. I'm not braiding my baby hairs. So I'm going to lay and position my braids in a way that I want them to lay, which is like this like this is perfect and i want them to stay out of my face anyways 
because when I don't hold them, this is like in the middle of my damn face. It's not cool. So right here I have my needle and thread and I'm just going to, I believe, go from underneath them and like, you know what I'm saying? Just pull them, just, just put them together because that's going to make the style look how it's supposed to look. Feel me? Alright, so I just got to my last one. I put the thread through all the ones in the front up into my ear. And now I'm just putting knots in the thread so I know that it won't come undone. You really can't see me doing it because I'm doing it underneath it. But, like, you cannot do this over top because people, you're literally going to see a line of thread. Like, don't do it above. And make sure you don't cut your actual braid. It's just the thread. And I'm going to cut this off too because we don't want none of this showing boo boo all right boom so this is what they are looking like i think they are so cute especially for my first time so i'm gonna go ahead and dip my ends and come back and then we're going to tackle our edges um i'm using this is actually a flower glass yeah. i mean not flower glass a flower base but i'm just going to dip the ends oh this shit hot okay i'm going to i will show y'all but it's so hot i can't even like pick up the container of water so um i'm just gonna do it on the counter but i will say this the top of my head like over here because of the way i had to lay my hands i kind of like was messing my hairs up so they look like they don't look as neat on this side but um if you have that problem too, just make sure you get some mousse. Unfortunately, I don't have any at the moment. I'm probably going to go get some tomorrow. So yeah, just, just make sure you mousse your hair before the time being. I'm about to spritz it with some spritz. So. And I like to dip a lot of my hair. Like, I like to let the whole braid get wet. Oh, then you pull the hair out. Dry with a towel. And then I always re-dip the very very ends of the head because sometimes they be getting like tangly as you can see like the very bottom so i just read the them so now this is what your ends should look like perfect perfectly dipped so baby fresh ends zipped on a hoe yeah yeah period so now it's time to do our edges i'm just going to take the edge um edge booster style factor this exact one you can find on my amazon storefront i like this one because the gel is kind of softer like it's the perfect mix between like regular gel and edge control because you know regular edge control is usually like harder but this is like a soft edge control and it's perfect like i keep saying perfect <laughs> nothing's perfect but the way it do my hair I just love it okay so yeah this is how i get the little curly swoop effect without actually like um what's it called it without flat ironing my edges like you don't have to flat iron your hair to achieve this like you don't i mean for a particular look you do but if you don't want to there's death ways you can like still get the overall effect without Put heat on your hair just to turn around and put um product on it. So I just do it like that. I just use my hands and my uh edge control to do it because who burning their hair off? Who burning off their edges and their sideburns? Not me. I hate wet hair. Now I don't have actual spritz, I have pump it up, and I'm just going to spray all over my hair. I hate the way this spray come out. They are so cute, so let me give y'all a full spin around. Full 360 on a hoe, yeah! 
Yeah, they're so cute to me. I think I did really, really good for my first time. So if I am wrapping up this video right now, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. And if you do try out these lemonade braids on yourself, please tag me, okay? So in order to tag me, y'all make sure you follow me on my social media. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next test for you. Bye, mamas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.